What's good? Oh, man. I think I'm on my, well, I just finished my second week. So, uh, we're gonna get that out the way. I like to talk to y'all about the essential stuff you might need for your trip or for coming on the truck from what I've learned after two weeks. So, uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show y'all what you might need to, yeah, because what, what you're gonna think, you're gonna think you need a lot of shit. Trust me, you don't think you need a lot of shit. You don't need a lot of shit, all right? And, uh, cause you, I mean, it depends on what you're running. For the most part, you might be running a uh, OTR route. If you run an OTR route, you might need a little bit more than what I'm gonna show you. But um, even then, you don't need a lot. So here's what you might know you're gonna need first. If you got the money, all right. Um, I had a little bit of money put away. I went ahead and got me some extra stuff. What you gonna need, it depends on what your truck, what your uh, mentor has. My mentor already had a bed. Um, he had a mattress and all of that stuff in the bed already. So um, I don't really need too much bed wise. But to, to kind of make up for that, um, what I would do, unless you can just get it on your own or you already have it, go ahead and get that Swift bag. Hold on, let me show you. It's like $200. It's like $200. But they take it out of your check and it'll be, I think it's like $20. A check or something like that, two to twenty-five dollars a check, which you get paid every week. So, um, yeah, but you can get that, and it has a sleeping bag in it. It has this bag, this bag. What I keep in it is my deodorant, toothbrush, soap. So when you go in the TAs or the pallets and stuff, and you take a shower, you got all that stuff in there. Toothbrush, toothpaste, um, got a razor. You got all your stuff that you need when you go in the TAs or the uh, pallets or the lungs or whatever. It comes in that bag. You can put all your stuff in there. I got my lotion in it. Put my lotion in here. Um, you got all your stuff that you need. And oh yeah, it gives you this. It has a charger that comes with it too. Um, it looks cheap and generic, but trust me, it works, it works good. It's worth it, you ain't gotta, I mean, as the time goes on down the line, I might give me one of the expensive ones, but trust me, it's, it's got, it's quality. It ain't, it's about, I looked it up on Amazon, um, and it's, it runs like $45. So, I mean, it's almost worth it. This, with all this stuff that comes in here, sleeping bags and all that, if you was to buy it by yourself, it would go over $200, you feel me? So, best thing to do, go ahead and just knock it out. That's depending on how, how everything is. You can take some of the stuff out of there. You got an Atlas and all this other bullshit in there. You won't need all that. So, you know, eventually when you go home uh, or whatever you wanna do, you can take that stuff out. I run a dedicated route, so I took most of my stuff out that I didn't need, and I kept everything that I needed. Um, get you a couple of pairs, depending on the season that you come in. If you're coming in the wintertime, bring your lease. You ain't gotta bring no whole fucking week's worth of clothes. 
because I promise you, you ain't, you're not gonna um, change every day. That ain't happening. You're not changing every day. So just, you're not taking a shower every day. You probably take a shower every two days because they, depending on who your trainer is, he go, he might go off of his um, points. And you accumulate the points every time you fill up in gas. So every, I say every two days, um, you'll probably fill up every day almost. But <clears throat> to occur more uh, showers, more points, you want to let them stack up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That way you can take two to three showers a week if you want. Um, that's, I mean, it's on you. If you want to take a, a shower every day, you probably could. But it's, it's not going to be easy. Get you some wet wipes, shit like that, to get you past because... Oh my God, that's one of my one of my things on my dude's truck. Cool to the motherfucker, but dude be stinking. Dude booty be stinking, boy. I'm sorry, <laughs> I hate to say it. Dude be stinking, man. He don't be wiping. I don't know if it's just because he's big, he's heavy set that he don't he don't uh, get in, get in the crevices good enough. But uh, he be stinking. Um, I do got a um. Went and got me when I went home. Since I'm gonna dedicate it, I go. He goes home every weekend. Um, pick me up a iPad. If you can see that. Pick me up an iPad. Um, you can watch your videos. You can uh, you don't do shit like that while you're on that truck. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you are gonna get bored to death. Like that's that's one of the main things. You're gonna get bored. Depending on who, I keep saying depending on because some people's uh, mentors might be a little cooler, you know what I'm saying? Like they might relate a little bit more, but depending on how he is, you know, um, you might be on their board, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, one more thing you probably gonna need, it depends on the money, your money situation. One of these. Y'all probably asking, what the fuck is that? This is Jetpack. It's a Verizon jetpack. I swear to God, it's a lifesaver. This would cost me 50, like 47, 40, something like a $45 plus tax. So I say around about 50, 50 for this. It comes with a SIM card. Um, you, it's, it's basically, if you look, know what it is, it's, it's, it's a Wi-Fi, it's a portable Wi-Fi. $50 for this, and then you go on the website and you basically, it's like a prepaid SIM card. You know, Verizon prepaid SIM card. They give you a phone number. Write that down because this is not a phone, so you won't be able to send messages and text messages and stuff to that SIM card. You won't get them on this, obviously. It's just one little screen. But write your phone number down. <clears throat> that way you can pay your bill with a prepaid card, <clears throat> a Verizon prepaid card. But. $50 for it, and then I signed up for the $50 a month, with which is like 16 gigabytes plus, and then they give you a bonus. So it's 16 gigabytes, and then they give you an extra eight a bonus, eight uh, gigabytes extra with that deal. I don't know, I guess it's a deal that comes with it, but um, that's a lifesaver, boy. I'm telling you right now, it'd be certain spots, man. You can game on it. Uh, it don't really run that many uh, gigs off of gaming either. You know what I'm saying? So 24, they say uh, normal gaming in an hour, <clears throat> you're probably going to run up. I don't really know megabytes and gigabytes and stuff like that. I ain't no computer nerd. But I looked it up. A normal playing a whole full hour on your Xbox or PlayStation, you know what I'm saying, on your TV, get you, if you can, get you a little 32-inch TV. Um, at a run, you, they say... I don't know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, like 400 uh, megabytes, which I don't know how many megabytes is a gig, but that don't sound too bad. Um, 400 megabytes an hour, I think. I'm not sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up. But if you got 24 and you're running, and you're not gonna have that much time to play online, you know what I'm saying? That'll get you by, you know what I'm saying? $50 a month, that'll get you by, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, you, I mean, it's prepaid, so you ain't got to do it every single time. They want you to set it up with auto pay. Don't do that shit. Um, 
But fifty dollars a month, it ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be online, you never have to worry about no Wi-Fi. Like you, you be in the middle of nowhere, you pop that motherfucker home, bang, you can watch movies on your iPad, be on your phone. You know, um, you'll never have to worry about no service. You know what I'm saying? And you can get you a smart little smart TV, thirty-two inch. You can watch anything you want. You know what I'm saying? Watch whatever movies you want. Get you Hulu. And watch what you want, you know what I'm saying? You'll never have to worry about being on a truck and feeling detached from everything, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't care what nobody say, we in 21st century, man, and people need they, they you know, people need their Wi-Fi, they need their internet, they need to be connected. That's just how the world is nowadays. For people that don't like it, man, don't listen to them, man. Don't listen to them. That's just how the world is now. You know, everybody's connected, and you want to be, stay, you want to stay connected. You want to be able to be able to reach your people. Your friends, your family, your girl, your wife, whatever, you won't be able to reach them. So I, you know, I, I went out. I got me the stuff. I got me a little Wi-Fi. I got me an iPad. You know, um, well, my phone is actually sitting up on the Bluetooth speaker. Get you a Bluetooth speaker. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, get you get you your shit, man. Get get what you need to be comfortable on that truck because you're gonna be on it a lot. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what you run, even if you do run a dedicated, you're gonna be on that truck. For a while, you know what I'm saying? So my plan is to try to get on the target account, run some routes on the target account, see what it's like. They saying they're gonna pick up a whole lot because of the holidays coming up. Um do gonna have to worry about some snow, which I mean come on, you know, I grew up in Little Kentucky, so I dealt with snow, I dealt with all kind of stuff, not driving a semi, but I dealt with a lot of snow. I ain't I ain't scared of snow. Um you just gotta be patient and be slow, take it slow. Uh, I've been driving back and forth from Columbus to Pittsburgh, and uh, that's about it. <clears throat> you know, that's just what we do. That's what I do, and it is what it is, man. So, I mean, that's the essential stuff you might need. Bring you a couple of jogging suits or a couple of pairs of shorts, some t-shirts, depending if you're coming in the summertime. Uh, it's winter time, so what I would do, what I'm gonna do, as time goes on, I'm gonna get me up at least. I go to Walmart, get you some cheap stuff. Don't get you no, you ain't gotta get nothing expensive. Um, go to Walmart, bring you a jacket. You can bring you a jacket from the house, but get you a couple of uh, t-shirts because you ain't gonna be uh, like in the weather. Get you a jacket, something you can put on and take it off. Um, get you a couple of, you know, little pants from Walmart. You know what I mean? I went and got these these M1 pants from Walmart. They, I'm gonna go back up there probably today and uh, see what they got. See, what, you know, give me a couple of more. Probably get about three pairs, three or four pairs of those. You know what I'm saying? Something that you can switch out. I'll obviously get you a whole bunch of underwear. If you, you want to change your underwear throughout the week. Um, they got washes and dryers at the TAs, at the Loves and stuff if you want to. Depending on where your terminal is, you can wash it for free at the terminal. That's what I do. Um, I'm about to run out. I need to run up for today, but I'm about to go home. So, um, go and get my rental and everything and I'm gonna drive to the crib for the weekend. Um, I'm gonna watch my stuff there. But, I mean, if you can, you know, ask them if you wanted to do it how I'm doing it, get them to get you a, a, a dedicated guy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these routes, some of these people's dedicated, you know, and they go home every weekend and you you be able, you won't be stuck on that truck on the weekends and you'll be able to get off the truck and, and stretch your arms, stretch your legs and get away from the guy, you know? I don't care how who, I don't care how cool you are being next to a grown man all the time. It gets nerve wracking, man. And I know it gets to the point where it's like, oh my god, get off my truck. I want to get off of your truck. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, it ain't nothing personal. It's just that's just how it is. You're grown men, men want their own space. You feel me? And people get nerve wracking after a while. So, um, I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, it's going good. I came to just check in with y'all real quick, give y'all a little, little video. I don't know how long it is, but I just had to show y'all a little central stuff that you might need. Um, I would get that bag, that $200 bag. I would get that. I prefer to get that. Uh, it comes with a lot of stuff that you're going to need down the road. You might not need it now. Don't pack too super heavy coming on the truck with the mentor. I'm telling you now, you don't need half that shit, especially if you get this bag. Because now you got your bags and this. You don't want that. You got too much stuff. There ain't a lot, of, a lot of room because dude, you know, he's gonna have his stuff. So get that bag and then 
put everything you need, you know, get your lotion, your soaps and all that stuff. Um, it comes with all that already <clears throat> if you don't have it. Soap, lotion, all of that, uh, detergent. It has all that stuff <clears throat> in that bag. You'll see when you get here, just when, when you get there, just look at it. Um, and don't pack too super heavy, you know, get, you, get your underwears and your t-shirts. In the wintertime, get you a couple of jogging suits and a jacket. Uh, get you some driving glasses, you know, for the sun or whatnot. Um, you know, get you some socks and stuff, but you ain't got to go crazy, man. You ain't got to, because you probably only wear two to three outfits a week, maybe. And then you, uh, you know, go to the TA, it's like $3 to wash your stuff and $3 to dry it or whatever, wherever you at. Boom, you wash your stuff at the end of the week. You only got, you use a couple of underwear, you know, use your underwear, and then you use the, uh, the three outfits and some socks, you know, and that's it. And then by the, by the end of the week, you know, Thursday hit, you only change like two or three times. So you ain't even got that many clothes to even wash, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing I'm starting to notice. I go back home tomorrow, I swear I only wore two pairs, you know, two shirts, maybe. And two pair, two, uh, two or three pair of underwear. I don't know, three or four pairs of underwear. Cause I changed every day. We didn't work Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I got off the truck Thursday. Um, came here, and then, man, come on, man. You know, I ain't even. I got all these clothes. And I still got clothes that don't even need to be washed. Still in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit more stuff out when I get home. Um. For the most part, man, you you know, you don't need that much. So just pack light, pack smart, and get this bag. It got sleeping bags and stuff in it, pillow in it, you good. So I'm just trying to save y'all a little bit of uh, hassle because that's what I dealt with. And uh, that's it, quick little update. Still here, still doing my thesis. And uh, yeah, probably YouTube, yeah.